This week, on the property of the week, we revisit Everdell Apartments, a great investment opportunity, five minutes away from Thika Town. Everdell consists of three bedroom apartments which are ready for occupation. Welcome to the property show. My name is Nancy. On our expert segment, we will be speaking to Kenya Property Developers Association on their recently released State of Development report. On the accessory spot, we will be sharing with you beautiful collections of home decor from Tiny Town. We will be highlighting the developers' breakfast hosted by our partners, Orange Telcom, who shared their various interesting products available for the real estate market. We have a lot lined up for you. There is something for everyone. Hi, Robin. Hi, how are you? Very well, how are you? Welcome to Everton Apartments. Asante Sana. What a beautiful project. Thank you very much. Now this is a seven seat uh, launch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is an internet ready. Mm -hmm. It is it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Let me take you to the dining. The dining is a six seater. Mm -hmm. You can either, either fit in a six seater or a seven seater as uh, the family is. I can take you to the kitchen. This is a spacious kitchen. You can fit a fam family fridge inside here. It has a feature wall. It has all the provision for the hood. It's just the provision. You have to get it yourself. Now the cupboards are scratch proof. It's washable. It has extra sockets for the cookers, the microwaves. Do you have water? Yeah, the water is there. And this is stainless steel? This is stainless steel. It has ample of space to put your things for the kitchen. It has every Every cupboard has a cylinder. Even if you bang it, this is glass. So if you hit it hardly, it can't bang by itself. Just it goes by itself. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. This is the feature wall. It really breaks up the, the kitchen. Yes. We can put a, you can put, either you can put a breakfast area or something you can make it for itself. This is the pantry for the kitchen. It's spacious. Let me show you the utility. The utility is also spacious. We have provided a provision for the gas cylinder outside to, to stop hazards of fire or any, any breakouts of fire. And this is my... Uh, this is your iron. My ironing iron, board. Ironing board. Uh -huh. And this is your dobi area? This is the dobi area. Water? It still has water. Uh -huh. A 6 psi pressure. So there's a lot there's of water. There's a lot of pressure. At Everly Departments, we have catered for everything. We have brought Levington to Thika. We have put a Wi-Fi system. There's a borehole. There's ample of parking per apartment. We have put around uh, two parkings per apartment and ample for the visitors. Wow, wow. Do you have any play area or where will our children? Yes, there is. A, there is of course, there's a play area, and it's it's you can. Uh, there's also a play area and you can also convert it into a party. Either you can put tents, you can if you have a party, a small party around here, you can either put tents here, then you can have a party here. Wow. Now this is a spacious space here. Oh, spacious storage area. Yeah. You can put the things that you don't like, don't want it to be seen, every you can day. put it there <laughs> yes. every day. This is a vanity top sink. There's also some space inside here. Come, I show you the first bedroom. These bedrooms, you can either put a double bed or a single bed. They're all the same. They're all the same size. You can see there's quite a big they space. They are also scratch proof. They are all scratch proof and it has all, all have cylinders. You, even if you bang them very hardly, they'll go slowly. Yeah. Fantastic. It's enough. It's enough. This this service the first bedroom. It has a shower and it has a toilet. And 
and again you have a lot of water. It's a lot of pressure. This is the second bedroom and it's also en suite. It's large. It's large. How big and is the bed? This bed is six by five. In the wardrobe, you put different colors. Yeah, different colors to match uh, the tiles. This is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's you can see the way it's spacious. Mm -hmm. At Everdell, each bedroom has its own bathroom, and you can see the it's so colorful and you can really enjoy your showers you have a lot of water yeah it's it's really pressure and come i take you to the bed the master bedroom this is now the master bedroom it's quite spacious even the cupboards and you say you give us this standard across everdale yeah the standard is not changing it's all spacious, even this one is in suit. This is the dressing table. It, it's got the space for the for your makeups. And your jewellery. Your jewellery, even you can hide some makeup here. <laughs> this is the master bathroom. You've mixed match the colors? Yeah, we've mixed match the colors. It's not all the same everywhere. We have differentiated between the master and the, the other bathrooms. Now this is other this 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 are different, but it's bigger than others. You can have your breakfast here. Yeah. The couple can have the breakfast here. They don't even come out from here. <laughs> and all of them are bay windows? Yeah, all of them are bay windows and uh, in fact uh, it's so quiet, even you can see there's yes. no sound. Yes, quiet. Even if it's the highway, <laughs> but it's really quiet. Let's see the, the lounge. Yes. You can either put a seven-seater or a six-seater. Uh, we have uh, given provisions for the TV. Either you can put it on this side or this side. You can either wall mount it, we have put a provision for so don't need to, don't need the to hack the wall, yeah. And this is a steel door. All doors are like All this. doors are like this. From the, this one, the entrance and the balcony door. It's a five-way lockable system. Up, down and three on the side. This is the balcony. As you can see, it's also spacious. Very spacious, very spacious. You can put your coffee table over yes, here yes. for your morning coffees. Yes, yes, yes. your breakfast your area. Your breakfast, yeah. yeah. And but when just when you just want to lounge outside. Yeah, or either in the evening you want to relax outside, you can sit down here. What it, about landscaping? Are you working on your landscaping? Yeah, landscaping, you're working on it. It, is, it has a garden. Every, every block has a garden for two meters wide and uh, it all goes around the, uh, the block. And the perimeter wall, now I can see it. Yeah, now you can see there's an electric fencing. The height, normally other, other development gives 1.5 meters height, but us we are given 3 meters. And it's across the, it's entire, across the entire project. Everdell Apartments is located at the heart of Thika. It is easily accessible from the Thika Garissa Road and it is within close proximity to Thika Town via Kenyatta Highway. In addition, it is a 30 minute drive from Nairobi city centre. In Thika Town, one can find amenities which include Tusky Supermarket, Naivas, banks such as Kenya Commercial Bank, Standard Chartered, Barclays, NIC and among others. Everdell Apartments is surrounded by educational facilities including The Chanya Girls, Braben, Moe Forces Academy, church-based schools and among others. Lastly, Thika has various hospitals such as the Thika Level 5 Hospital, the Armed Forces Memorial Hospital, Aga Khan Clinic and Meridian Medical Center. For this property, the price is 8.5 million Kenya shillings. And for anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates range from 35,000 to 40,000 Kenya shillings per month. Everdell Apartments is indeed a game changer for Thika.
On our expert segment, we are speaking to Robin, who is the CEO of KPDA. Robin will be taking us through their just launched State of Development Report. Robin, Karibu Sana on the show. Asante. Robin, today you are launching the State of Development Report. What is it all about? Well, the State of Development Report is the first kind um, it, on the market, if you will, that has a comprehensive look of how the property industry is performing. And so it's a um, comprehensive look at where is development taking place in Nairobi, where is, what are some of the trends, and also what can we identify as opportunities inside of the market. And so one of the things that is necessary are things that we classify, um, used to classify as mature or transparent markets, is readily accessible data about that market. And so Nairobi and Kenya, there had not been a place where you can actually get a sense of what are the um, asking prices? What are some of the trends for development um, in, the, in the country and in Nairobi specifically? Where can we see that um, development types are more prevalent than others? What are some of the um, gaps in the housing stock? And so this report is a full-blown report to really look at how the property industry is performing and where it is performing. Are you also outlining the risks developers should look out for? Yes. In the, in the report, we outline um, and actually what are some of the challenges that developers are having. So if a developer wants to go inside or go that way, he goes in with eyes wide open, if you will. And so we actually identify as developers, these are the t challenges that they're experiencing. Having to bring on board their own infrastructure, if it's sewage, if it's um, you know, water provision, if it's those sorts of things. We are, we are identifying these are some real challenges in development. We're also identifying you know, changes of, of zone use, um, um, getting land titles that are clear and free. All of those challenges that we are identifying so that developers make certain that they go in eyes wide open, not only with facts in terms of the cost of development and so forth, but also the procedural nature of development. We do have a document that is a guide to development that does list all of that out. And so it does list in regards to the steps of development, um, the requirements, the um, legal framework in which development is done in, in this country, um, and so that people can understand what they're up against and, and things they have to consider when they're walking through that. Because we want to make certain that development is done in an ethical manner, and so that we have a guide for development that does do that. What next should we expect from KPDA? Well, we should expect um, big things from KPDA. We want to be the um, make certain that development is done in a way that is um, transparent, and people can get excited about um, the direction and, and the contributions that this industry makes. And so, we want to make certain that inf information is readily available, be it um, information about what's green building, why it's important for our for our homes to have green components, so that we can lessen the um, uh, dependency and reliance on industry, I'm sorry, electricity, because we know that uh, only a small percentage are on the electric grid in this country. So it's all the more important that we start to incorporate um, renewable green building. Yeah, exactly, energy. Green building. And so if it's, if it's offering training and development or just policy awareness, KPDA will continue to be that champion for the industry, as well as provide and information so that we make better business decisions because, um, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Yes. So we want to make certain that we use <laughs> it right and, and yes. we're giving development to where it's needed. That's exactly what this report will do. It'll actually, um, with facts, with um, um, real images, depict the whole story about the property industry so that you're actually um, very correct. There's so many speculative conversations about this um, property industry. Are we booming? Are we busting? Um, you know, how do you rate one house or one development project versus the other? And so we're bringing on facts here that actually says, um, what are some of the trends, if you will? What's the, what are the actual numbers that are necessary for development against our population growth um, projections? And so that we can actually see, um, we, we, we can be developing for the next 20 years and just tap into the, the, the um, property um, population needs of this country and in this county specifically. And so when we look at that and we really tell that we only developed 15,000, um, well we only gave permits for development of 15,000 units last year and against the population growth and projection of 50, I'm sorry, 5 million um, by 2020, we know that we need to be developing in a big, large numbers. And so we, we're nowhere 
near a um, pr property bust, if you will. It may feel like that because we see a lot of construction, we see a lot of development around us here in Nairobi, but the numbers of people that are still um, desiring, you know, housing that is adequate and gives them the large quality of life that a, ho that a home does is still substantial. How often should we expect these reports? Yes. Well, this state of development report will be an annual report, but KPDA does put out quarterly reports that looks at um, what are the permitting um, developments across Nairobi. The, our main thing is that so we've, we've launched this in Nairobi. We've kind of gotten this under our belts and we're very excited about that. But we also want to look at the same in other counties because every other county or many of our, our large counties are also having um, development challenges. And there are places where there's investment opportunities but you also need factual information about um, where is development in those counties, in Mombasa, in Kasumu, in Nakuru, and other places. We want to start to abstract that data so that we can tell that story as well. So this state of development report, is it only for the Nairobi and the environment? This one is, and, and that's simply because the challenges of receive, getting the data to do so um, uh, in other counties. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much, Nancy. As always, I appreciate it. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Last week, during a developer's breakfast hosted by Orange Telecom, we as Property Show entered in a strategic partnership and they also shared with us their various products available for the real estate market. Let's see what they have. Today I am very uh, delighted to be with you. I would like to welcome you all on behalf of Telcom Orange. Uh, partners, uh, developers, partnership, entrepreneur, colleagues. Uh, we are here to celebrate a very good concept, very great event. We are here to say Orange Telcom really is the conversion and the only conversion operator in the region could offer fixed mobile internet easily with high quality. Our vision since the beginning in 2005, 2008, is to offer connectivity with good quality and affordable price to all Kenya. Time to time, when we are in rural area, not easy, but on time, we could do it. In, for residential business, we are GSM, of course. We have the copper and we have the fiber. For corporate, we have the same, GSM, corporate, uh, copper and the fiber. Counties, of course, the fiber, because they need big connectivity. This is the concept today, what I would like to share with you. This is the philosophy. I think it is we are the only one in uh, Kenya proposing this. I am sure with a good partnership with Telcom Kenya and you guys, developer and entrepreneur, I am sure we make this concept viable easy to access and we bring values for our customers because my customer is your customers and I am very happy to be partner together. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day. Let's sign the contract now. As they proceed with that, they'll also be explaining to you more about the strategic alignment of this association so that I will leave to them. As I said, my colleagues are here today for you. The main reason is to explain to you about the services that we offer, the solutions that we offer, but at the same time to also listen to you and understand what it is you need from us. Because it is always better to come back to the customer and confirm if they're getting the service and the solution that they really require. It is much more of a better investment in that sense. Thank you, Mikhail. Thank you, Nancy, very much. Or as uh, Mikael emphasized, uh, Telecom is here to offer solutions that are catered for your needs. We are in a dialogue today. We want to start this dialogue to, with you in order to understand really what your needs are and to cater and tailor our solution to those needs. We will do it with our wide offering, with solutions which are built around multi-service access Multi-service access is the te technology we are using, the AMSAN technology, where we can plug 
different solutions, whether data, data is very important, uh, as uh, Mikael uh, emphasized it, data with uh, dedicated broadband, internet, uh, shared internet is another alternative for your tenants. Of course, we can offer point-to-point uh, -point solutions, multi, uh, multi-site connections, all these are among our offerings and will help you, your buildings, whether they are commercial, whether they are residential, to be connected. When you have first think about a project, think about Orange. This is the way we would like the future to be and it will be right. On our accessory spot, we are back at Tiny Town. Let's see what they have for us today. other properties available on the property gallery. Bahatirich is located in Thika, a 45-minute drive from Nairobi city center. It has a tranquil ambience and it is a refreshing escape from city chaos. At Bahati Ridge, there's a great mix of townhouses, villas, bungalows and cottages offering you enchanted country living. Bahati Ridge has big city amenities in a suburban, eco-friendly setting. The amenities include a shopping mall, supermarket, cafes, restaurants, educational center, medical center with the highest quality patient care, office park, and wellness center. Phase one of the development comprises of Olengai townhouses, where the price ranges from 10.5 to 11.5 million Kenya shillings. Also to a villas, where the price ranges from 16.5 to 17.5 million Kenya shillings and Eseriani bungalows where the price ranges from 17 to 18 million Kenya shillings. Bahati Ridge, your paradise within grasp. Mlolongo plots are located off Mombasa Road in Mavoko municipality. It is a 20 minute drive from the Nairobi city center and five minutes from the Siokimau train station. The plots consist of 75 acres divided into blocks of 5 acres and 2.5 acres. These plots are ideal for both commercial and residential developments. The plots are only one kilometer from the main all-weather access road. Residential communities in the area are Olonyori Estate and Great Wall Apartments. The plots are also in close proximity to the Mlolongo Town Centre and the major banks. Schools within the area include Joyland Preparatory School and Kitengela International School. And here are the highlights of today's show. The Kenya Property Developers Association and Haas Consult released a State of Development Report for Nairobi. In future, the report is expected to be released annually and will include prime counties. The primary purpose for the report is to provide developers, investors and real estate stakeholders with guidelines and indicators on ongoing developments as well as opportunities and trends available. Are there topics that you'd like addressed on our expert segment? Do you have an amazing product or service that you'd like featured on the Property Show? Drop us an email on info at propertyshow.co.ke. Leave a comment on our Facebook page, Property Show Kenya, or engage us on our Twitter page. To find all these properties and more, visit us at International House, Ground Floor, Mamangina Street. As always, thank you for watching. See you next Sunday. Kwaheri! Thank you.